Methods for protein botting after electrophoresis have been in use for almost 40 years. It is probably the most common method in life science research with hundreds of thousands of literature citations. Ongoing improvements have delivered better sensitivity, convenience, and quantitative potential. The first protein blotting procedures were performed with nitrocellulose membrane from Millipore. Nitrocellulose was adapted from an earlier method for DNA called southern blotting. Nitrocellulose has limited protein retention. Bound proteins may be lost during immunodetection, antibody binding, and wash steps. This can lead to low signal or inconclusive results. Millipore released a Mobilon PVDF membrane in 1985 to address many of the limitations of nitrocellulose. The hydrophobic nature of PVDF results in higher protein retention. For that reason, it generally delivers higher signal than nitrocellulose. Also, PVDF is durable, stable for long-term storage, and is resistant to solvents. However, PVDF must be wetted with alcohol. Until now. Rethink Western blotting with the new Immobilon E PVDF transfer membrane. Immobilon E provides the first and only PVDF membrane that doesn't require the alcohol pre-wet step, saving you time with your workflow. Other benefits include PVDF performance with a nitrocellulose workflow and a strong signal with low background. Immobilon E is also stable for long-term storage and is durable for multiple strippings and reprobings. Immobilon E provides the performance of PVDF with the ease of a nitrocellulose workflow. Rethink Western blotting. Introducing the Immobilon E membrane. The benefits of PVDF without an alcohol pre-wet step. Learn more and order today at sigmaaldrich.com slash immobilon.